Hey, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Um, the to the Apostles. At Great Millstone is your brother, Ayathun. And I just want to do this quick video, man, in the spirit. Um, this is 1 John chapter 4. I'm reading on my screen. Uh, verse 11. It says, Beloved, if the Most High so loved us, we ought to, we ought also to love one another. Right? And it's true. If you're in this truth, well, I'm not going to say if you're in this truth. If you believe, if you believe, all right, because many are called, but few are chosen. So not necessarily even if you know of the truth, if you have knowledge, is if you believe and if you're a part of the elect. The Most High loved us enough to brought us in this truth and to give us the gift of faith. Because if you read the book of these Ephesians, gift is a, I mean, faith is a gift, which means not everybody that says Jesus Christ or Yahweh Shai is going to make it because you need that element called faith. Faith is substance of things hoped for but not seen. All right, you need that element and that is a gift from Yahweh, 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 Yahweh Shai. All right, so that gift is what? Is this truth and believing in this truth because Yahweh Shai said what in John 6 and 63? He said that this truth is life. The words that he speaks unto us are life. And the words that we speak to you, brothers, are life. The words you're, the words you're speaking, if it's coming out of the scriptures, those are life. And anyone that clings on to it cl is clinging on to life. Now, hey, man, all of us fuck up. Man, brothers, I'm going to tell you, me, <laughs> man, pff, whatever, you know, that's, I mean, I'm just here, Lord willing, the most high, keep me in this thing until I, you know, if I, 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 until I die, I mean, I take myself and I compare myself to other men that I'm around that's in this truth, apostles all the way on down. And I look at them, the way I feel is, yo, if I got to compare myself to these brothers, ain't no fucking way I'm going to make it. I mean, that's just my attitude, you know, that's the way I feel. So, but my thing is, man, Yahweh by Shimi, I was shy. Just keep that spirit in me to fight. You know what I'm saying? That warrior. Because all of us are warriors inside. You know? That warrior spirit. Even if the Lord is going to take me out, at least. I don't know, man. At least keep me in this thing and let me die um, on my feet. You know? Standing up for what I believe in, at least. If that's how I got to go out. You know, there's a saying out there. You brothers and um, probably heard this before. But there's a saying that says, I'd rather uh, die on my feet than live on my knees, you know? And I pray to you, how about Shim, how about Shai? He give me that spirit that if I gotta, if I gotta die for this truth, then I just die. If I gotta die for a brother, then whatever, man. You know, may you, how about Shim, how Shai? Keep that, keep that spirit in me and just strengthen me in that day to whatever, to take whatever the fuck hell comes and I, you know? And even if I don't survive or get beat, be delivered at least you know i die in the truth at least you know what i'm saying or die some type of cause to my name you know what i'm saying because whatever however you go out now it's gonna be written in the books for life and brother like i said i f i fucked up so much and even after coming in the truth i feel like i fucked up more than i did in the world because in the truth you know better you know so hey man i just pray to you how about shimmy how shy have mercy on me you know what i mean but um, my point is of uh, this, uh, doing this video, I'm going to get to it, you know, and um, the scripture I'm reading is, look, man, all the shit that we've, or all the shit that I've done, all right, I'll take, use myself as example, all the shit that I've done against the Most High, and for him to still have mercy on me, my my feeling is, my attitude is, is as long as I'm in his truth, right now, as of today, the Lord's got me in his truth, um, I still believe strong stronger than ever especially you know being around the brethren that's why i said for satan is the assembly man that force just fucking boosts you up man you feel much better you know it's like you took a fucking mega dose of chlorophyll or some vitamin you just like mm, amped up so it's good to be around the, the brotherhood but my thing is man all the shit that i've done you know and it's all the shit i've done period uh period the Most High has still kept me in His truth to this day, 2020, March 28th, 
through the spirit of most high, I'm still in this truth. I still got a truth in my in my heart, in my in my mind, in my spirit. You know, I still believe. I still believe in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. I still believe in the brothers that they're men of the Lord that's around me. And um, hey man, I you know, I think the most high I still I'm still this way to this day. Um, ever since I came in this truth and I pray the most high, I keep that spirit on me. But Yahweh Shai gave us two commandments. He said, Love the most high, right? which is commandment number one. And then the second commandment is to love each other, love the brotherhood, right? And so my point is, if the Most High could forgive us for all the shit that we've done against him, you know, at least myself, I'll take myself as an example, all the shit that I've done, um, any brothers out there that I, have, I feel like offended me or that I've offended, you know, I would love, I want that brother to forgive me. I want to say slack it to any brothers, brethren out there that I may have offended and any brothers that may have offended me. I'm talking about brothers. When I say brothers, I mean men that believe in Yahweh, that believe in Yahweh Shai, that believe in the prophecies that we teach, all right? RFID, microchip, all that shit. Those are my brothers. Those that actually go out there in the highway and the byway, byways, you know what I'm saying? That I'm out there on the front line and the brothers... On the right, to the left of me, behind me, in front of me, whatever. Those are the ones that's out there, that's been out there. And I'm so grateful that the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, put me under a lead, the leader, the teacher, all right, that he put me under. Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Raka, Apostle Rhymelob, all the elders all the way on down that you brothers know of. I, I mean, that's a fucking gift in itself. So I pray to Yahweh. I pray. I'm thankful to Yahweh. Yahweh Shai that he put me under those men, man. Seriously. And um, yeah, man. You know, we're a huge. We're 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 fucking. Hey, slacking, man. I'm going to a rant. You know, a little bit. Not really a rant, but I got the scriptures. But I'm just speaking from my heart, so to speak, to you brothers. Um. And uh, what I want to say is, man, look, we're all human, and all y'all, you, it's mostly out of jealousy, right? They call us uh, man pleasers and this and that. But um, ain't nobody here no fucking man pleasers. I'll tell you that right now. None of us is man pleasers. The scriptures say, Mark ye the perfect man. All right, we just follow the scriptures, man. Scriptures say to Mark ye the perfect man. The scriptures say, you should know a tree by fruits. So, um,. Hey, the Most High just happened to put us, give us a leader, a teacher over us that has been elected by the Most High and has taught us the correct way. And I'm so fucking grateful. And my point is, man, we, um, we've we had our bicker, bickerings, our beefs, our disputes, all of us, man, between each other, with the Apostle, even Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, all of us, all of us have had beefs and disputes and, uh, you know, fucking arguments and shit where we walk out the room and don't talk to each other for a little bit you know we ain't we ain't no fucking man pleasers however y'all think it is it's just the most high said what he does everything in decently decency and in order so whatever shit we got going on between between us you mother effers don't know shit about all right because we're fucking men we don't disrespect our elders we don't put our apostles and our elders on blast all right so, y'all might think, oh, there's a bunch of fucking man pleasers, this and that. No, man. We, we, we do what the fuck we gotta do. We make our own decisions, but we understand that there's an order of things, okay? And if everything pans out, if the order pans out through the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, we follow it. And that's how we've been living from day one till now, all of us. You see? So, yeah, we've had our little whatever, but, it's at the end of the day, it's all love, man. It's our bickerings or whatever is all out of love. It's bickerings that you have with somebody that you love, that you're close to, you know, like you and your woman. You guys are close, so you might bicker with her about shit that she won't fight with nobody else about, or you won't fight with nobody else about because you don't give a fuck. Because the love, there ain't no love there. The way the Most High bickers with us, if we go off, the Most High punishes us because he's bickering with us because of the love. So my point is, man, I'm going to read on and I'm going to make my point. Verse 12 says, no man has seen the Most High at any time. If we love one another, the Most High dwelleth in us, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and his love is perfected in us. 
Because what? We are the kingdom of, your, of heaven. All of us are the kingdom. So if you're hating on another brother, you're hating on yourself, man. You know, because all of us are the kingdom of heaven. We're all jewels in that crown, man. We all make up that crown. You know, we're all one body. So it's like hating on your own fucking body. It's like sinning against your own flesh when you hate against hate against another brother. Okay? And the key word again I said is brother. Yahweh Shai said, who are my brethren? Those that do the work of the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. If you don't fit that, then I'm not even talking about you. All right? I really don't give a squirt of piss. Honestly. Okay? Verse 13. It says, Hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us because he hath given us his spirit. So my point is, man, to you brothers out there, if there's any brother out there that you have some type of fucking grudge against or some whatever beef against, and y'all brothers are both teaching the same thing, and you both believe in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, then man, uh, you need to squash that shit with that brother. Y'all need to squash it and all that because at times that we are now, by this day, next week, seven days from now, man, you don't know when you're going to have a chance to even say that to the brother, you know? And you want you don't want to go out on a fucked up um, vibe with a brother, you know. So we don't know what the fuck happened. So these are these are the days to where, man, seek the Lord ten times or more, as the scriptures say, and make peace with all the brothers, and in, and cherish the brotherhood and the assembly, and uh, and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's it, man. I ain't gonna talk too much long. I just want to put that out there. So uh, I'm gonna say, hey, shalom, and all you brothers out there, man. That whether I've met you, or not, whether I have not met you, in the spirit of your how about Shimi, how shy. Love all you brothers, man. And, um, yeah, all you brothers that I've never met that I, you know, uh, that we encountered. Maybe I went out of state and I encountered y'all for the first time. Was always met with love and always felt like I just never left home. You know what I'm saying? That's how it should, it should be with every fucking brother. Every brother, man. It should be like we never left home. And, um... Yeah, man, we all working towards the same, same penny. And, um, yeah, we all on this journey together, man. So we'll see each other in the kingdom of heaven, if anything, man, you know. And I ain't trying to fear monger or, or nothing like that. I'm just, spirit just got on me to, to do this video, man. And, um, yeah, man. All right. Shalom.